guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to a new series on my channel for a game called Dog Sled Saga. If you haven't heard of this game before, then basically just like the name suggests, we are starting off as a novice musher who is going to build a team of dogs to enter in races, and uh, apparently we can train them, we might even be able to breed them in the future, so it sounds like it's going to be very interesting. This is a game that I've been aware of, but I've never really looked into until now. I noticed that it finally went off of early access on Steam just um, not too long ago, about a week or so ago, so I am very interested to see what this game is going to be about, and I hope you guys are too. Let's go ahead and start here. Um, I guess we're going to start our career. That looks about right. So we can choose a musher. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to choose this one because I like that big cozy coat. I think that'll help us while we're um, in the races. We'll select this guy right here. Um, is this our home it looks like? Yes, it is. There we are. Welcome to Mount Saint Something. Okay. Today I moved to Mount Saint Something, a new start for me in the dog sledding capital of the world. And this is Raleigh. An old family friend invited me to be the new resident musher at the Fireball Kennel. Okay, Fireball Kennel. Oh, that is adorable. I'm here alone tonight, but tomorrow I'll meet my team and Raleigh will introduce me to the basics of dog sledding. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are our dogs and um, we can choose which ones. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of dogs here. Okay, so... Shutsi? Is that her name? Oh, that is adorable. She's a brown husky and she is obedient. Um, I'm not sure what this means. Are those like titles maybe that they've won or their age? I'm not sure about that. Um, Bamzi, who's a schnauzer. Okay, I didn't know schnauzers were into dog sled <laughs> racing. Um, he is also obedient. And then we have Dharma. Oh, I like that name. That reminds me of Lost. Um, she is an obedient one as well. And she has a two over here. I don't know if those are titles or what. And then we have um, a long shot husky who is a male. He is a white husky and he is also obedient. So very, very obedient dogs here, it looks like. We have Storm the sheep who <laughs> That also does not look like um, it should be on the dog sledding race, but maybe that'll be okay. It's also obedient. Then we have a steady one here, Floss, another white husky who is a male and he looks adorable too. We have Bigsby who is strong, a strong black lab, and Bandit, a strong husky. Ooh, I like him too. Oh gosh. I feel like we should probably pick one dog in each of the personality traits because we've seen um, Obedient, Strong, and um, also, what was it? Steady, I believe. Okay, so we need to pick an Obedient dog first. And I think I'm going to go with Dharma because I love that name. Um, do you want to hire Dharma? Yes, I do. Congratulations, Dharma just joined your team. So we can change the name, which I am not going to. And we can also change the harness color. Oh, wow. Oh, that's some serious uh, control over the color there. Okay. I didn't expect it to be like that. So we could give her like a nice purple um, harness to start with. There we go. There you go, Dharma. I think that's good. So we have Dharma now and we have um, two vouchers remaining so we can pick two more. Dharma was our obedient dog. So we need a strong one too. And oh, do we have new ones here? Hemingway, I don't remember seeing you before. You're a German shepherd and you are strong. Okay. Maybe I just missed that guy. I don't know. Um, so we have him as a possible strong candidate. Um, Floss, I think that was our only steady one, right? So we might want to pick Floss as well. And um, for strong, I am very tempted to go with Bandit. I think I'm gonna go with Bandit for strong. Okay, we want to hire Bandit. He looks beautiful, doesn't he? Oh my goodness, and he has a green harness. I feel like we need to go with like a black harness for him if we can. Can we go for a black harness? Oh, it's hard to see, but we'll go with black there, just like a Bandit in the night or something. Okay, we'll continue with that. And now let's see if we can find um, a steady dog. So we have Floss as a steady dog. And is there anyone else here? Oh, Stryker. Okay, so we have Stryker the St. Bernard, or we have Floss the White Husky. Oh my goodness, a St. Bernard would be a very interesting one to have on the team. And he has a seven here. I'm still not sure. Maybe this is titles or their age. Um, they're both males. I think we're gonna go with Stryker as something different because it is a huge St. Bernard. And we'll keep his uh, green harness because that looks like a pretty good one for him to have. So let's continue there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and here's our team, we're already on the move. So we can press and hold anywhere. Oh, 
Okay, to throw them treats. Oh, we have to feed the panting dog. Okay, so I have to line this up correctly. Perfect. All right, feed the panting dog. There you go. Dharma. Dharma is in the back. Oh, we're out of food now, so we have to restock here. Oh, that right there. Are you going to grab it? It looks like she did. Okay. <laughs> and now we can uh, feed Striker way up there. There you go. Perfect catch. Um, we need to tap three times. Okay, to jump over the rocks. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We have to keep it that in mind. Tap the dog repeatedly to untangle. Uh-oh. Um, somebody drifted, too. So we need to keep them in line. Whoa. Excuse you. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was unexpected. Who was that? What a jerk. <laughs> Click to continue. Okay. So that was interesting. Um, someone just kind of cut us off there. Yesterday, some jerk sprayed snow all over me while I was learning the ropes with Raleigh and my new team. Anyway, there's a race today, and I think I should see how I do. Oh boy, we're getting right into it, aren't we? I'm still not sure if I fully understand the controls of this, but I will do my best, guys. This is a completely blind playthrough. I've never played this before, so we're gonna give it our all here. It looks like we have clear weather. It's a medium length race. The challenge is average, um, snow quality is flawless, one obstruction, so that shouldn't be too bad, and we have excessive restocks, which is very good to see. So let's go ahead and enter, maybe we'll do a good job. <laughs> Raleigh told me that he thinks Stryker would make a good middle dog. Okay, so hover an empty part of Stryker's card on the lineup. So we want to move him into the middle, I suppose. Okay. So is this correct? Let's see. It says they all have low exhaustion rates, which I suppose is a good thing. Um, yeah, I, I guess this is all good. So we will start the race and see how we do, I guess. Um, oh gosh, we can see everyone in the background too. Um, I guess those are our opponents and we need to... Oop, somebody's drifting. Oh dear. I need to uh, give these guys some food though because I see that they're panting up there. Um, it looks like Bandit is way up there. Can you get that one? There you go, buddy. <laughs> and Dharma, oh no, I missed you. Um, oh dear, oh dear. I think I, oh gosh, I keep hitting her. I'm so sorry, Dharma. Oh, we need to jump over this rock though. There was our like one um, obstruction there. You guys need to eat. I'm doing so bad right now. <laughs> I thought I was doing better on the tutorial, but this is awful. Um, I need to give you guys your food. Eat that bandit. There you go. You managed to get that one. And Dharma, poor Dharma. She is having so much trouble today. Um, let's give you one. There you go. Perfect. At least we got that one. And bandit, another one for you. Can you catch that? There you go. Dharma needs another. Um, I don't think they're drifting, right? Oh, Dharma's looking pleased, actually. That's good. Um, oh dear, it looks like uh, we don't want to throw the biscuits when there's a tree. Oh gosh, and I just did. <laughs> I thought the tree passed us already, but apparently not. Um, let's give one to Striker. There you go. There you go, buddy. We're in fourth place. I think we're doing um, a little bit better. And Dharma, I missed you again. I'm so sorry. I have trouble getting um, Dharma because she's so close up, apparently. Let's get Striker, though. Striker is apparently quite good at catching my crazy throws. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. You're tangled, little guy. Don't drift, okay? Oh, dear. And <laughs> I keep throwing my um, little biscuits, too, while I'm trying to untangle these guys, which is not helping the situation. Um, are you tangled? Little, little guy you might just be hungry oh gosh i am so sorry i am so sorry guys <laughs> i will get the hang of this eventually but um hey we came in second despite that craziness we actually came in second so we actually managed to win um 200 dollars it looks like not bad at all um dharma you're a little bit tired yeah yeah i'm not surprised you had um <laughs> you had some trouble there i kept throwing the biscuits right on your head and striker striker how are you doing doing um bandit is doing all right too i may have gotten their names confused there i may have gotten their names confused a little bit i'll have to learn who is who here i know this is dharma pretty little dharma with her purple harness um and it looks like they're all quite tired they're all going to need a big rest after this for sure um happiness is okay on these guys and i'm good on dharma so that's good i guess today is my first day off so i need to decide a regimen for my dogs Okay, um, click the regimen button on the top right. Let's see. Click the task in the top left to change it. So racing, is this some sort of like training then? Um, I can choose to do caretaking with my dogs to alleviate their fatigue quickly, or I can train them to boost their skill warm up. Okay, 
We can either care for our dogs to reduce their fatigue or warm up our dog's skill in anticipation of an upcoming race. I feel like we definitely need to give them a little bit of a rest after that. I could pick which dogs to participate or stay home to the right of the task button. Idle dogs will get a little rest. Okay, when I am ready, the proceed button will advance to the next day. Okay, so all of our dogs are in the caretaking option, which is exactly what I want to see, so we'll proceed to the next day. Um, and yes, their fatigue has gone down, and it looks like they are much happier now. I hope so anyway. Um, I feel like we need to kind of rest them a little bit more. I mean, we really worked them in the last one. That was a little bit rough for them. It looks like we need to pay our bills soon. Oh gosh, 28 days until that. There's a race in four days. Um, okay, so what is this here? This is a journal with nothing in it. Okay. <laughs> I guess I don't need to look at that. Or wait, there's something over here. What is this? Heavy breathing. My dog was breathing really hard. Ask Raleigh about it. Okay, sure. Watch your dog's breathing to anticipate their hunger. If they're breathing heavily, they're getting tired fast. Food will help them out. Okay. Okay, that's good to know, I guess. Um, these are all different tips then. That's good. Okay, so we'll take a look at that later. Let's take a look at our dogs, actually. Can we go deeper into this? Oh, we can! Dharma, look at you! Oh, I love her. She is so adorable. Okay, so she has some fatigue. She definitely has some fatigue still, so we do want to rest her again, I think. Um, we don't know what her fault is. That's interesting. She has some favorite things, possibly, but we haven't discovered them yet, so she is still a mystery to us, which kind of makes sense because um, she is brand new, so that's okay. It looks like I'm, I have a feeling that all of these are probably going to be the same, right? I have a feeling that all of them are going to be a mystery to us until we get to know them a little bit better, so that's fine. Um, let's have them rest one more time today. I think that might be a good idea. Um, there we go. Bring down their fatigue just a little bit more. Um, maybe one more? Maybe one more. I mean, I want them to be really well rested, but I also want them to be trained up. So we have three days left until the next race, it looks like. Um, and it doesn't look like it's too bad. We have excessive restocks again. We have two obstructions to look after and two trees apparently as well. So I'll have to do a little bit better um, at watching out for those. But let's have them rest one more time so that hopefully those little blocks will go away. There we go. <laughs> I think that's good. I hope so. I hope that's right. And then can we train them now? Let's train our dogs. Okay, let's see if this does anything. So it's bringing up their skills, it looks like. Okay, because that had gone down before when I had let them rest. So I wonder if like, it's almost like they forget things if you um, rest them too much. So we train them again and it looks like we are now ready to enter yet another race. So we'll see how this goes, guys. Hopefully it's a little bit better and I don't keep uh, throwing stuff on their heads. Um, Dharma, you are apparently our wheel dog, Striker's our middle dog, and Bandit is the lead dog, so I will try my best to remember that. Though I wonder if we want to have, like, Dharma in the front as an obedient dog and, um, Bandit in the back as a strong one? Should we give that a try? Um, I know Raleigh said that Striker is best for the middle. So let's give this a try. Let's swap these guys around and see if this works better. Because I would think we would want like the really strong one in the back to really push the sled or pull it rather. Um, let's try this. Let's see if this works better. So we have Bandit in the back, Striker in the middle, and Dharma way up in the front. Hopefully we can, uh, we can keep up with these guys in the background. It looks like they're getting a little bit hungry already. Oh, did I get that? There we go. Okay, Bandit, here's one for you. And Dharma, I'm gonna give one to you, but we have to jump. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and it looks like uh, Dharma's already getting a little bit hungry again. So there's that for you and you're getting tangled. Oh dear. Um, and Bandit needs one as well. It's very tricky not to actually throw the treats when you're trying to untangle them for some reason. Hopefully I'll get better at that as I keep playing. Um, and it looked like Dharma was very happy about that throw, which is good to see. Oh yeah, this is working out better already, isn't it? Okay, um, let's... Can I, like, untangle you, please? <laughs> I see that he's kind of tangled or something, but it's kind of hard to uh, get him to untangle himself. So let's see, Dharma, there's one for you. Um, you guys need to stop drifting off. And let's give one to Striker. You're getting very tired. And Bandit, now we need to jump. <laughs> there we go. So those were our two rocks, I believe. Um, we should have some trees coming up, so we'll have to keep an eye out on that. Dharma, you need yet another little treat. There we go. Oh, yelping. Oh no, what happened to you, little guy? What happened to Striker? Oh gosh, um, can I, like, fix that? <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. Oh no. Um, Dharma, I don't know if you could catch that. No, you can't. 
Um, oh gosh, and then uh, bandits yelping too. Can I give you a little bit of food to help you? I'm not sure, maybe they're just really, really tired. That could be, that could be. But we got into second place, so that's not too bad. Again, I mean, it's not first place. We could definitely be doing better, but second place isn't too bad. So we got some more uh, earnings there, some more winnings. And what happened to our dogs? What on earth? Bandit and Striker, you guys were yelping. That's not good. I wonder if Raleigh could tell us a little bit more about that. We'll have to check and see. Um, Dharma's definitely tired. Oh gosh, these guys are so tired. <laughs> Their happiness is down, which is a little bit sad. Um, they are definitely exhausted, so we'll have to let these guys rest, especially before the next race. Um, we did get some perfect throws in there too, which looks pretty good. And it said that Dharma's favorite thing happened somehow. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. I'm not exactly sure what that could have been. But yeah, let's see if Raleigh knows what just happened there because I am stunned. I don't know. I'm um, yelping. Okay, so Striker yelped and looked sad. Yeah, what was what was up with that, Raleigh? When your dogs yelp, their unique fault just occurred. They might do something mischievous during a race. Keep them in good happiness to quell their faults. Give a dog a rest if they're too unhappy, and I can help you put a finger on each dog's fault if you're observant with them. Okay, okay. So is there a way for us to figure out what the fault was then? Is there a way for us to like go in here and maybe see um, what that fault was? No, it's still a secret. So I'm not sure. Maybe we need to um, observe it a little bit more unless we can talk to Raleigh somewhere, but I don't see him here. I'm not sure that it's very, very mysterious. That is quite mysterious. Um, maybe there is another area in here? Let's see, we have um, breeds actually. Dharma's breed, Bandit's breed. Bandit is a husky, we can ask him about that too. Huskies are the go-to gray sledding dog. Of course they are. Um, is there anything else looking please, tangling, all sorts of different things in here? But um, it doesn't look like we can really ask him about the faults just yet. So it might just be that we need to wait until we know our dogs a little bit better. I'm not sure, but right now we should probably let them rest, I think, because they do seem very, very tired. So let's have them rest. Let's uh, make sure their fatigue goes down a little bit. Raleigh started to tell me about a famous dog named Aurora. He said she was the reason dog sledding became so popular in Mount St. Something. <laughs> so we're getting like little snippets of story along the way too, which is quite interesting. But it looks like they're doing a little bit better. So there we go. We have another race in three days and uh, hopefully we'll be able to rest our dogs well enough so that they'll be all ready to take it on as soon as we're ready to go because we do need money for our bills here. We do actually need to win these things so we can pay off our bills when it's time to do so. Um, let's have them rest one more time. There we go. And I think in the next episode, we'll take a look at this next race here. So let's see, what is this gonna be like? Um, not too bad. Actually, there's only one obstruction, one tree, and it looks like there's going to be clear weather. So hopefully we'll be able to do a little bit better than we did this time. Maybe we'll get first place this time, who knows? I'm not sure if this is going to be a regular series on the channel, if we're just going to do a couple episodes on it, but I am having a lot of fun with this so far. It's fun to kind of try to figure out uh, what all these dogs are about. So I hope you guys like it too let me know if this is something that you enjoy and thank you all so much for watching today and i'll see you next time bye guys